What's up guys, Craig Hawks here, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here, really great to see your smiling faces. I know it's been a while since my last video, it's been almost a month. I've been spending my time hitting the books, I'm doing a little bit of studying this year and it's been taking up a hell of a lot of my time. But I'm glad to be back doing another video for you. The last one which I posted was me taking my own headshots. I used a DSLR camera for that and I got a couple of comments where people were saying they don't all own a DSLR and doing those kind of things with a DSLR is all good and well when you own one. What happens if you don't? Is it possible to do headshots or do a vlog video just using your cell phone? So today that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this video about whether or not you can use your cell phone to do a vlog video. This is my old Apple iPhone 5S. This is no new camera by any means. This phone is quite a few years old, but I still think you can get definite usable footage by using a phone like this. Then, going even older, I have my Nokia Lumia 1020. When this camera came out, or cell phone came out, this was quite something actually. It has a 41 megapixel camera. It only does 1080p, but the quality is really fantastic. I've attached to it the battery mount. It gives it a little bit more battery and also has a quarter inch screw mount on the bottom so I can mount this to the tripod and make it a little bit more stable. I also have the Huawei P8. This also a couple of years old. Not a phenomenal camera, but not bad. I also think we can get something pretty good out of this. Let's see what happens. And then going a little bit more modern, I have my wife's Samsung S9. This is a pretty impressive cell phone. The camera on the back of this phone is pretty hot. I mean, the footage should be really good. I would never recommend using the front camera. They never put the great lenses on the front, the great lenses on the back. So I'm only going to be using the back lenses today and the back cameras to see what kind of quality we can get out of these. Now, you don't always want to do that handheld and I brought along a simple, cheap selfie stick in which to mount some of these cell phones on so I can get a little bit of distance from my face. And otherwise, I've brought a couple of gear ties with. I'm going to use these gear ties to maybe tie the camera down onto the tripod, get something a little bit more stable. So, what am I going to do? Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these cell phones, do a little bit of footage one by one, a little bit of vlogging one by one, and then I'm going to shove this through Premiere Pro and I'm going to do a little bit of editing with these. I'm going to see how that affects the image, how badly it breaks it up and if it's still usable. Let's play and see what happens. Okay guys, so this is the Huawei P8. I've got it attached to the selfie stick just to give it a little bit of distance from myself and hopefully it adds a little bit of stabilization. I'm not so sure that it will. The problem with cell phones is they often tend to have a little bit of shake, especially when you hold them in your hand. That's why you like to attach it to a tripod if possible, because it adds a little bit of weight and just makes it a little bit more stable. But I think if you keep relatively still, you should be able to get an image that's fairly usable. Now I am using the selfie camera. I tried to use the camera on the back a few times. Didn't work out so well. Each time it didn't want to focus on me and just focused on the background and I couldn't see. I only saw afterwards and that doesn't help me much at all. So I've attached it to the selfie stick and I'm actually using it in selfie mode. I don't know if you guys can hear there's a whole bunch of ducks behind me. I'm at Zoo Lake busy testing out all these cameras and let's see what we get. So what I am going to do is I'm going to flip this around and use the better camera and see if I can get a bit of cinematic footage out of this. Then I'm going to pump that through Premiere Pro, put a bit of a grade on it and see how much it degrades the footage. I think this should be usable. I hope it's good. Let's have a look.
Okay guys, so this is the iPhone 5S. I'm using the back camera hoping that I get good focus. I know I didn't win with the Huawei that way. But I'm hoping that I win with the Apple 5S this way because it's a slightly better operating system. I have strapped this to the tripod using one of the cable ties hoping that it gives me a little bit more stabilization than the selfie stick did. I think a selfie stick works really well when it comes to photographs but in terms of doing video it seems to not necessarily amplify the shake but it definitely doesn't seem to take it away. So I've attached this to the tripod using a cable tie. Cable ties are really cheap. I got one at one of those outdoor stores. I think it cost me a hundred rand, which is like seven dollars. And I got three really great cable ties in there. Um, but this is the sound straight off the phone. This is the video quality straight off the phone. I hope it's good. I hope I'm in focus. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm now going to just get a little bit of footage around the park here, around the dam, see if I can get something nice, cinematic, good looking that I can put through Premiere Pro as well. Let's see how that turns out. But for now, this is vlogging on the Apple iPhone 5S. Nothing new, right? Let's hope it's good. Okay guys, so the last phone was the iPhone 5S. I didn't manage to win with that using the back camera which is the one I would have preferred using because I would have gotten a better image. So for both the iPhone 5S and the Huawei I had to use the selfie cameras. Now what I'm recording on is the Nokia Lumia 1020 and this if I'm honest is the camera I'm holding out the most hope for. I'm not using this in selfie mode, I'm using the back end of the camera, I'm using the good lens, the good camera which I hope is really fantastic because I bought this phone probably now five, six, seven years ago and I bought it specifically for the camera. I thought it was fantastic back then and I think it's still going to be fantastic today. So I have the battery grip attached to the phone which allows me to mount this onto the mini tripod which is what I'm using to extend this to full arm's length and give me a little bit of distance. I really hope this is the camera that proves that cell phones are still usable. I'm pretty sure you could get this cell phone, the Lumia 1020, online for a really great price. You could probably get this for a fraction of the cost of any DSLR or any other camera and you'll get fantastic photographs out of this and phenomenal video. So this is it in selfie mode. The sound you're hearing is the sound straight out of the camera. I know you could attach a microphone to this and I could have attached the microphone to this but I wanted you guys to hear what it'll sound like just out of the phone I'm pretty sure this is the phone that's going to give me exactly what I'm looking for and exactly what you guys might be looking for so if you have a little bit of extra budget maybe this is an option let's play a little and see Alright guys, here it is. This is the last phone that I'm going to be trying out today. This is my wife's Samsung S9. Right now I'm busy using the selfie camera because this selfie camera gives me a QHD image output, which is really high. That's higher than 1080p, so you're getting more than full HD, and that's on selfie mode. So I can see myself on the screen right now. I haven't got this mounted to anything. I'm not using any microphone, so I'm sure you can hear all those guys behind me. Someone's obviously walking there and setting them off. This is all being done straight out of the phone. This is the image on selfie camera. I'm holding it at arm's length. They haven't got it mounted to anything. This is the Samsung S9. I'm pretty sure this is going to give me some pretty epic footage. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip it to the back end camera, which will give me 4K, which is going to be quite difficult to deal with in terms of processing. I know a lot of people think, 
well, I need a camera that's going to give me 4K. But what are you going to do with that 4K footage? 4K footage is pretty big, which means that you're going to have to do quite a lot of processing and not many cameras that spit out 4K. Do it in a small file format that allow you to edit it on any computer. You're going to have to put that through some pretty strong software, but it's still going to be a really great image. Okay, so here it is using the rear camera. So this is now being filmed in 4K. I have no idea whether I'm in focus or not. I'm literally just holding it at arm's length. I haven't got this mounted to anything. I'm holding it in my hands. This camera does offer some stabilization, so I'm hoping that that's going to make it really good. This should give me an exceptional image. You guys should be seeing something really crisp, really saturated, maybe a little bit overly sharp, but that's not a bad thing. I mean, it means you don't have to do any post-processing. You can just whip this into Premiere Pro or Windows Photo Editor for that matter. You know, you can whip it to any kind of software and not have to color grade it, not have to do anything to change the image to get anything good. You'll get something good just like this. I am going to put it through and see if the image degrades a little bit once I put it in Premiere Pro, but I'm not too sure that it will. I think. This phone is going to offer something really exceptional because it's a modern phone and it's got an exceptional camera in it. Let's see what we get. guys well there you have it just a couple of cell phones that I tested the Samsung S9 Nokia Lumia 1020 Huawei P8 and the iPhone 5s could you use any of them for vlogging hell yes you could use all of them for vlogging nothing stopping you from starting where you are with what you've got because what you've got is plenty so my views iPhone 5s maybe it's starting to get a little bit old and probably not the best for vlogging but still usable let's see what the footage looks like once I've put it through processing and see how much it degrades I guess you guys will know before I do when I look at the Huawei P8 it wasn't my favorite I know that their new P20 is quite an impressive camera and probably a little better when it comes to vlogging now my, my Nokia Lumia 1020 that camera and that phone I absolutely love I still think the footage that comes out of it is fantastic. It's only 1080p, but you don't need more. It's got such a beautiful Zeiss lens built into that camera. And the image is crisp. It's well saturated. It's stable. It's just such a fantastic camera. And that phone is about five, six, seven years old. So if you would like a camera that's on a cell phone, that is easy to use and cheap, you could probably get one of those second hand for a fraction of the price of any other cell phone second hand and definitely any other camera. And then of course there's a Samsung S9. That's a very modern camera. So that's kicking out 4K. It's probably not true 4K like you'd get out of a, a really big camera or even a DSLR for that matter because you've got a really small sensor in that camera, but it is still 4K, it is still UHD. You're going to get a really well saturated image that's really crisp and excellent so any modern camera iphone x 8 even all these samsung's are going to be really great for vlogging and you guys can use them what do i think i think my wife is probably 100 percent right and you guys should just start with what you got where you are because like i said that's plenty am i going to use any of them for vlogging i might i very well might use my Nokia 1020 to do a little bit of footage. I think as a B cam, especially next to my EOS M50, it's quite handy actually. I could attach a microphone to it and because I can attach it to a tripod, I think that's a, a winning combination. So do I think you guys should vlog on your cell phones? I think you guys should start vlogging on absolutely anything that you've got. Do you have a GoPro Hero 7? Absolutely start vlogging with that. Do you have a DJI Osmo Pocket? Start vlogging with that. Do you have a Samsung S9? Do it. 
iPhone 10, do it. iPhone 8, what are you waiting for? Get out there and do it. It doesn't matter what you got, just get going. Join us, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.